In geometry, Heron's formula, named after Hero of Alexandria, gives the area of a triangle by requiring no arbitrary choice of side as base or vertex as origin. Contrary to other formulas for the area of a triangle, such as half the base times the height or half the norm of a cross product of two sides. Formulation Heron's formula states that the area of a triangle whose sides have lengths a, b, and c is where s is the semi-perimeter of the triangle, that is, Heron's formula can also be written as example, let ABC be the triangle with sides A equals 4, B equals 13 and CE equals 15. The semi-perimeter is S equals 1 half equals 1 half equals 16, and the area is in this example, the side lengths and area are all integers, making it a Heronian triangle. However, Heron's formula works equally well in cases where one or all of these numbers is not an integer. History The formula is credited to Heron of Alexandria, and a proof can be found in his book, Metrica, written c. AD 60. It has been suggested that Archimedes knew the formula over two centuries earlier, and since Metrica is a collection of the mathematical knowledge available in the ancient world, it is possible that the formula predates the reference given in that work, a formula equivalent to Heron's, namely, where a BC was discovered by the Chinese independently of the Greeks. It was published in Shushuji Zhang, written by Qin Jiushao and published in 1247. Proofs Heron's original proof made use of cyclic quadrilaterals, while other arguments appeal to trigonometry as below, or to the incenter in one X circle of the triangle. Trigonometric proof using the law of cosines A modern proof, which uses algebra and is quite unlike the one provided by Heron, follows. Let A, B, C be the sides of the triangle and alpha, beta, gamma the angles opposite those sides. We have by the law of cosines. From this proof we get the algebraic statement that the altitude of the triangle on beta has length B and gamma, and it follows the difference of two squares factorization was used in two different steps. Algebraic proof using the Pythagorean theorem The following proof is very similar to one given by Rayphasen. By the Pythagorean theorem we have B2 equals H2 plus D2 and A2 equals H2 plus 2 according to the figure at the right. Subtracting these yields A2 minus B2 equals C2 minus 2 candelus. This equation allows us to express D in terms of the sides of the triangle. For the height of the triangle we have that H2 equals B2 minus D2. By replacing D with the formula given above and applying the difference of squares identity we get we now apply this result of the formula that calculates the area of a triangle from its height. Trigonometric proof using the law of cotangents from the first part of the law of cotangents proof. We have that the triangle's area is both an A equals RS, but, since the sum of the half angles is pi 2, the triple cotangent identity applies. So the first of these is combining the two, we get from which the result follows. Numerical stability. Heron's formula as given above is numerically unstable for triangles with a very small angle when using floating point arithmetic. A stable alternative involves arranging the lengths of the sides so that a BC and computing the brackets in the above formula are required in order to prevent numerical instability in the evaluation. Other area formulas resembling Heron's formula. Three other area formulas have the same structure as Heron's formula but are expressed in terms of different variables. First, denoting the medians from size A, B, and C respectively as Ma, MB, and MC and their semi-sum one-half as Sigma, we have next, denoting the altitudes from size A, B, and C respectively as Ha, HB, and HC. In denoting the semi-sum of the reciprocals of the altitudes as H equals one-half we have finally, denoting the semi-sum of the angle signs as S equals one-half. We have where D is the diameter of the circumcircle. D equals of sin alpha equals B, sin beta equals C, sin gamma. Generalizations. 
Heron's formula is a special case of Brahmagupta's formula for the area of a cyclic quadrilateral. Heron's formula and Brahmagupta's formula are both special cases of Brett Schneider's formula for the area of a quadrilateral. Heron's formula can be obtained from Brahmagupta's formula or Brett Schneider's formula by setting one of the sides of the quadrilateral to zero. Heron's formula is also a special case of the formula for the area of a trapezoid or trapezium based only on its sides. Heron's formula is obtained by setting the smaller parallel side to zero. Expressing Heron's formula with a Cayley menger determinant in terms of the squares of the distances between the three given vertices illustrates its similarity to Tartagler's formula for the volume of a three simplex. Another generalization of Heron's formula to pentagons and hexagons inscribed in a circle was discovered by David P. Robbins.